Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair accuse is in my description box, y'all. So I want to get to um, our first, first sacrifice of the year, y'all. And I forgot about this date, to be honest with you all, because I was telling everybody to be careful on um, 223 and 322 and all that. But if you think about it, today is a sacrificial day as well, because it is the 23rd year, okay? And today is 1-1, one, one, so that equals 322 as well. I didn't even think about that, y'all. But um, they're saying there are news, you know, outlets and news reports coming in that a Memphis rapper um, by the name of Lola Mitchell, she is also known as Gangsta Boo, she was found, y'all, approximately at 4 p.m. This is what they're saying. Gangsta Boo was the second um, woman member of the Memphis hip hop group 3 Six Mafia. So, um, you know, even 3 Six Mafia, you know, there it came from their camp as well that she was found. And they are not saying the cause of death is, um, they're saying it's unknown, y'all. This is what they're saying right now that, um, it's unknown what happened to her and this and that and that and this. When I first heard about the story, um, I had to go to numerology and see what was popping up, okay? Because this is, you know, first of the year, y'all. And um, we talk about this all the time. She was 43 years old. Um, so I put in her, you know, stage name. I put in her real name and I put in her birthday because she was born August 7th, 1979. And this is what came up. You know, there's no reports really saying what happened or whatever, whatever. I don't know if she was on any kind of street pharmacy stuff. Anything like that. I don't even know. But um, when I put in Gangsta Boo, y'all, okay, Tree of Life popped up right away. Tree of Life. And another thing that popped up was Lil Loaded. And y'all know that Lil Loaded, they say he took his own self out. So that popped up. Um, So is it a possibility that she took herself out? I know that she was facing some serious charges, okay? Um, Because she had took herself out because she didn't want to go to jail for some stuff she had, you know, gotten herself into. Because word on the street is, you know, um, she had some cases that was pending. Okay, y'all? Um, wow, this is crazy. Already, y'all, they're not playing. And I, I, I want y'all to pay attention to who she's on this picture with as well. But I want y'all to pay attention to that. Um, people are getting in the sacrifices early, if you ask me. Um, November 1 popped up. Um, so y'all already know that's 111. So, was it a sacrifice? Seems like it, y'all. Um, under her gangsta boo name, um, found dead pops up, y'all. Occult ritual pops up and enchanted popped up. And y'all remember, um, little Scar was just taken out and he was with somebody named enchanted or something like that. This popped up under hers as well. So could it possibly been um, street pharmacy stuff too? Because Enchanted popped up too. And, you know, I'm just saying. Either it was some like street pharmacy stuff or um, it was something else, y'all. Some, something. Um, I put in Lola Contrell, Chantrell Mitchell. And what popped up was the Brotherhood of Death popped up. Ritualistic murder popped up. Um, I want to dance with somebody popped up. And of course, y'all know that's one of Whitney Houston's song. So every time her name pops up with stuff, um, it makes me think that it got something to do with some street pharmacy stuff. So could she have, you know, um, passed away from doing some street pharmacy stuff? Or was she taken out? Because Whitney Houston, we all know that, you know, someone write about her scene. And she actually passed away in the tub or something like that. Okay. So, um, could it have been something to do with any kind of, you know, um, drowning? Um, another thing that I put in was Lola C. Mitchell, because sometimes she just goes by the middle initial. So I put that in, and as soon as I put that in, um, 
took herself out pops up and which makes sense with the little loaded thing so did she take herself out y'all i don't know um angel of death popped up as well and day of the dead popped up so we all know what day of the dead is okay y'all um then i took off the c and i just put lola mitchell in and when i put that in um gang stalking popped up y'all so it's some weird stuff popping up under her numerology um august the 7th 1979 is when she was born a couple things popped up under that adolf popped up so we know he was set up um was she set up under some kind of ritualistic mess too um because adolf pops up another thing that pops up another person is um little dirt pops up y'all i don't know why little dirt is popping up under her name but i do know that if you if you compare what happened with little dirt and king von they had a case going on so did she have any open cases with somebody else that possibly her and somebody else was going to go to prison together and maybe her getting taken out would relieve the other person from this case i don't know but um, I think she did just recently get into some trouble. I can't remember all it was about. But I remember she her getting into some type of trouble or something. And uh, if this is the same person. So did she have an open case going on with um, somebody else is the question too. Because um, they do have a, a picture of her up on... Um, the news channel from a while back or whatever and it said lola mitchell aka gangsta boo rapper busted so did she have a charge or was she in some kind of um scam kind of you know stuff going on with her that she was with somebody else y'all that's the question right now because um if she have a case that could be why um her name is popping up i mean little dirt is coming up up under her name because we know when when um, King Von got taken out, Lil Dirt was freed from whatever charges he had. So that could be a possibility. Um, when I put her birthday in as well, Drowning came up. So I was like, okay, that makes sense to why um, under her full name, I Want to Dance with Somebody pops up. Because Whitney Houston, she drowned. So that came up again under her birthday. Staged, popped up. So is the, you know. The area, you know, everybody said that the whole Whitney Houston thing was staged. That, you know, that room was towed up and they placed stuff where they wanted to. So, it's hers staged too. Okay, y'all. Is they going to say she took herself out or it has something to do with street pharmacy stuff? And, you know, I'm just saying, is it going to be a staged scene as well? They found that at 4 p.m. So, that's another thing to 4 um, the end popped up, y'all, and infection popped up. So, I don't know, was she sick or anything like that? But infection popped up, too, and the end popped up. So, y'all, I just wanted to jump on here and let y'all know that we got another one. She is from Memphis, Tennessee. And she is the first two, two, three, pretty much, y'all. Two, two, three. Demise of the year. All right, y'all? So, I, y'all, I'm wondering now, let me see if she has any kind of distribution deals with anybody. Um, because I, I know sometimes, um, I was only saying she was with 3-6 Mafia. Um, I'm trying to see, does she have any kind of distribution deal? with anybody that's another thing you have to check out for because y'all already know about the distribution deals somebody ain't making money like they used to no more you know record companies take them out because they don't um they ain't making no money like they used to um she was under the labels profit hypnotized minds and drum squad that's what is coming up y'all um That's all I'm seeing right now. But yes, she is the first sacrifice of the year. You know, I told y'all, y'all have to be really careful. They're bringing a new year in with a demise of, you know, an artist that was very popular in Memphis. Um, she paved the way for a lot of other artists. And um, first one of the year, y'all. I just want to jump on here and let y'all know what was going on. This is sad, but... It is what it is, y'all. Um, you have to be careful out here. 43 years old. Still a baby, y'all. 
and she's gone. So may she rest in peace. Um, my condolences to her family. And here we go, y'all. Already. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.